I'm excited to talk to the yeah. star of the movie Pink OPEC, Elijah Booth. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Thank you for having me. First question to you, I want to throw back to a little bit in your memory before we dive into the film, though. Yeah. Um, what was your first job in the movie industry? Oh, wow. A really good question. Uh, if I can trace it back correctly, my first job uh, was uh, I, I had a small guest star role on uh, PBS Kids, The Electric Company. And so that was pretty much my my breakout role. Uh, the film follows Travis, a LA film student struggling to graduate while navigating romance and reconnecting with his estranged uncle. What attracted you to this role? I think for me, uh, originally, it was just really the overall theme of Travis being an aspiring filmmaker and and wanting to chase his dreams really because I mean I feel like we can all relate to that we all have our own goals and dreams and aspirations so um, yeah that that just really resonated with me at, at the time that I received the the script and I felt led to be a part of this project there are a lot of layers in the role of Travis how did you mentally prepare yourself for the role really really great question so. Uh, when the role came across my desk, I pretty much had like a two week prep period before we started production. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of my prep came from, um, you know, really just being in the field when it came to, uh, you know, tapping into that homeless aspect of Travis. I've never been homeless, so I had to do a, lot, a ton of research when it came to that in terms of, you know, talking to a few friends that might have been homeless or sleeping in their cars at some point in their life. Um, we also really filmed uh, near and on parts of Skid Row. So just hearing those homeless people's stories, and just like really being in the field with them um, was just beautiful. Um, outside of that, in terms of the relationships and connections that Travis has with Kristen uh, and uh, my uncle, I pretty much just used substitution method acting um, and was able to tap in and, and bring that well of emotion that was needed for these, you know, for these characters. There's a lot of self-reflection throughout the film, uh, not just for Travis, but a, a lot of the characters. Each character is representative of something, a different part of their lives. But did you find yourself relating to Travis? And, and what did you kind of learn from playing this role? Definitely, definitely. I, I always say when it comes to this role, I've never played a role so much like myself. Um, for starters, Travis is a fighter. And, and for me, I can definitely say, you know, having started this journey of, you know, becoming an aspiring actor since I was 10, and I'm 25 now, you're, you're not going to get every role. And there's always going to be obstacles and there's always going to be setbacks. But if you focus on the dream, you'll always keep pushing through. And I think that that's one thing that I definitely can relate to with Travis. There's one part of the film where Travis kind of hits rock bottom. And of course, uh, there's a quote in the movie where it goes, when you hit rock bottom, the only place is to look up. What does that quote mean to Elijah? It means to keep going. It really, really does. It means to, to not only keep going, but to use that rock bottom, you know, whatever that is for, for you and I. It's to use that low place uh, as fuel, as an opportunity, um, and as, 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 as an opportunity for inspiration, really. Um, to inspire you to keep going. What are some of the things that you can pull, what are some of the things that you want people when watching the film to pull from the character of Travis? Definitely, definitely the, the inspiration aspect um, behind Travis's journey, Travis's overall journey. Because at the end of the film, not to give any spoilers, but at the end of the film, you know, Travis does wind up completing his film. 
Um, but I just really want people to focus on the overall journey, the, the hiccups, the ups, the downs, the obstacles, the achievements. Um, and I want them to be inspired by that and, and apply that, that same, that same thing, you know, back into their lives and, and to, to never forget that, you know, when you're chasing for a dream, it's always going to be a process. Um, and some things take time. And typically, the hard will always, always pay off and it will never be in vain. I love that. I love that. It's it's one of those things that, and, and talking about the film as a whole is like you can reflect to a lot of what happens to Trav, you know, to Travis's character. And, and as you say, there's so many ways I'm watching the movie and it's like, oh no, he's, it's, everything is stopping him from, you know, making this film, everything, everything. And, and it's not always us, the person that's stopping it, right? There's always extenuating circumstances on the outside and blocking those things out to make things pr progress in life, right? Absolutely, too, is that um, after watching this movie so many times, <laughs> uh, I, I, I know not only was able to, you know, complete this film, uh, but he was able to do it with literally nothing. You don't have to have all these components that you think you need to have to complete one thing. Use what you have make it enough because it is enough. We are already enough as we are. And I think that was the, the biggest takeaway for me with this movie. You're fantastic in the film. Do you have any upcoming projects you can tell us about? Yeah, I actually have a film coming out uh, early next year called The Private Eye that I'm super excited about. Uh, it's a mystery film, so a completely different genre. And it stars me, uh, the incredible Eric Roberts, uh, and I play the role of D. So I'm just, I'm super excited for you guys to, to see that. I wanted to thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Again, your performance was, was beautiful from start to finish. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time.